The village of Neenton, like so many others, is a shadow of its former self. With the school, village hall, shop and pub all gone, the people here decided to do something about it. And if you remember, we used to have... Um... And this is how, getting together to talk about what they want and where. It's a community that's coming together in a, a dying village that's losing everything and finding a way of putting the social and economic heart back into the community. The plan is to build open market houses on a greenfield site in this conservation area. The money secured from the sale will put the pub back in the hands of the community. It's about much more than a pub. We'll be getting affordable houses for local people. We'll be getting some more houses in the village, which increases the sustainability. And we'll be restoring the local conservation area, which is on the at-risk register. A development like this wouldn't normally get planning permission, but the people here say a government focus on community-led planning has helped them push it through. The government's hoping it's something we'll be seeing more of. We've now put in place a range of new opportunities for communities to enable them to do this sort of thing more easily and with direct government support and funding. That doesn't mean it's been easy. People here have enlisted the help of a local housing association, which is not only providing financial backing, but is building the houses in return for two affordable homes. We have to do everything we can to facilitate affordable housing. And if we could do that by giving the community what they want, then it's worth all the time and effort and investment. A settlement at Neenton is mentioned in the Doomsday Book. The people living here today hope they've secured its future for centuries to come. Liz Roberts, BBC Midlands Today, Neenton in Shropshire.